we're actually quite fortunate because in New South Wales, we do have very good legislation. We have protective measures, but unfortunately, because of what's happening in government generally, we don't have the backup. So there isn't the, the resources to properly man it, to properly monitor it and control it. So even though we have probably amongst the best heritage legislation in the world today, believe it or not, there isn't that oomph and power behind the whole thing to, to roll it out with the same robustness with which the legislation is written, which is unfortunate because on the one hand, it's a rare thing to have such comprehensive uh, legislation, protective legislation, but then to be let down by the, the sort of executive arm of government, so to speak. It creates a kind of disappointment amongst owners and developers. And if only we had the, the resources to, to properly meet out the, the legislation, we'd have the best heritage policies in the world.